All right, and we're live. What's up, everyone? Hopefully, everyone's having a good evening tonight. Let's go ahead, get some of our stuff up and running. All righty. Hopefully everyone is doing well tonight. As I said, everything looks like it is running the way that it is supposed to. We're going to be doing something a little bit different this time. I'm not going to be using the Game Boy Player on the uh, GameCube. I actually want to play around a little bit with my analog pocket that actually came in. I just redid the, uh, the sizings for it. So hopefully once we uh, get the stream up and running... It'll look the way it's supposed to. All right, but right now, I can go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can see, I should probably take down the uh, border there for a second so you guys can see it. Although there wasn't much being covered up, but if I click on play cartridge, you can see my Pokemon crystals in there, ready to play. And then I think now if I add my border, if I did the resizing correctly, at least to the specs that I had it from the Game Boy Player. Not sure if that's quite right, but I'm sure once the menu comes up, we'll be able to see it. It's looking like it's a nice little fit there. Oops. I forgot to change the times, though. Was it down select B? I'm on a different controller now, too, so this is gonna be kind of wild. Oh, I didn't do that properly, obviously. Down select B, then. Hmm. Down select B, right? It's not up select B, because up select B. Oh my god, that's doing a uh, save states. Uh oh, that could be a problem. Cause I need to uh, change the time and it's not letting me. I don't want to play at night because we're probably going to encounter some daytime only Pokemon first. So how does one change the time? Because apparently up and select is a save state which is not what I want to do I didn't even know this thing could do save states I'm gonna be honest I'm out of the loop down select B and then we get go that and then we're supposed to do this but it's not working so am I gonna have to do this outside reset the timer for it because uh, apparently I can't reset the time in here Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do it. Uh, what is it? What can I do? I can press home. The cartridge. I'll have to put it in the Game Boy real quick and uh, reset the time for it. That's funky. I mean, it's not earth shatteringly bad, but it's not expected. I just wanted to goof off with it and see how it looks. It's obviously going to look a little bit better because of, uh, well, it's not going to be analog to digital. It's just going to be basically emulation. You guys can probably hear it on the Game Boy here, I think. There we go. Select the recent clock, yes. And I don't think I've made any new money. There we go. May boot in. The clock's time may be wrong. I'm gonna drop it down to 9 a.m. And then I'll save real quick. I always have a Game Boy on hand just in case. 
Also, I didn't know the analog pocket even had an IR sensor. <laughs> I was like going through uh, through some stuff with it and someone was like, I can't get the IR sensor to work. And I was like, what? This thing's got an IR sensor, although it's in a really annoying spot from what I can tell. All right. This time should work. Let's go ahead and load it up, play game. Now it is Sunday morning, 9.20 a.m. Perfect. All right, so things that I have done, as you can see, I got the whole squad's level 30. I got a star you that I finally caught. It also knows Surf, which will prove to be useful for us. Uh, Pokedex-wise, we're up to 67 Pokemon. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, while I was uh, actually grinding earlier today, I uh, ran into Raikou. So uh, he's gonna start showing up on our uh, our Pokedex radar. Obviously, we're not gonna focus on catching them right this moment because they're just gonna keep running away. So they're probably gonna be some of the last Pokemon I focus on. And. I know that this is going to upset official One Piece Slayer, as he always takes issue when this happens to me, but if I, uh, I'm doing the move Pokemon thing just because I prefer doing it this way. It does look a lot sharper, which I, I'm appreciating. I got a box three over here. I think it's box three. I think all the way down here you guys can see, kind of not just one shiny Krabby, but two separate shiny Krabby. Almost back to back. I had sent them the, the screenshots over on Discord. And he was uh, not too happy. Because uh, I tend to get lucky when it comes to encountering random shiny Pokemon. I don't usually try to run into them. I'm just grinding. Oh, speaking of which. Literally, just, just about every single Pokemon that I've caught if we go back in here. So we can get what I'm doing in-game out of the way. And so you can see it's pretty much 30 down the line. Box 4 has become my uh, Pokemon that I potentially want to use. You can see level 30s here and then these guys are like extras that I've caught. So they are, uh, well, they're not extras, they're the shinies. I think I might move the shinies to a separate box and see, uh, these guys are level 32. Some of these Pokemon, I'm choosing not to level, like the two Slowpokes, the two Oddishes, the Sunkern. And I think they actually learn different moves. These are two extra Jigglypuff that I have. We never hatched this egg that we got from the daycare couple, so we should probably do that. And then this box also has level 30s, and I think the bottom are, like, extra Pokemon that I have. Yeah, a Poliwag, because I don't know what I want to do with it yet. And uh, the two Sentret, one of which I believe is the Shiny. So, we have a, so far, I think I've gotten a Shiny, Sentret, Rattata, and two Krabbies. I don't think I'm missing any other uh, Shiny variants that I can think of. It would be a non-leveled up Pokemon if it was going to be the case. Because uh, I think Shinies are going to be kind of useless, I'm going to be honest. Uh, what box are we currently in? Box 4. Let's go and switch to box 3 so we can finish filling that out. I don't know if we're going to be catching a whole lot of Pokemon on the next route. We should pro Ooh. We should probably check out our map, although I've seen that this map may not be the uh, most reliable. So I can expect to catch a... Nothing. Nothing that I haven't already caught. Well, it might be a shuffle if I rock smash, but that's about it. And then Route 41. Might be able to see a Mantine. 10% chance we'll try to catch a man team. They can show up at all hours of the day, apparently. Also, we can fish for shelter with the Godrod, Chinchow, 
is also available to us. So we'll try to catch a Chinchow, try to catch a Shelter, and a Mantine along the way once we start making our way down south. But there's also... What's this? The uh, World Islands. I forgot all about these. There's a seal there that we can capture. Horsey. I don't know if I can use strength yet. I don't have a Pokemon that I think I've taught strength to yet. Yeah, but we can catch a horsey there. I don't think we can make it to the World Islands anyway, because I don't have Whirlpool. I think, if I remember, it's been ages since I played this game. To get to the World Islands, you need Whirlpool. So that's going to be something we'll have to do later. Alright. But yeah, that's uh, basically what I did throughout this week. Gold and Silver are heavily behind because leveling up every Pokemon that I've caught so far. On whatever little free time I have has been uh, nuts, and you can see that if I save, it's 223 hours that I've put in. So, we do know that there's a sick Pokemon here. In the past, Pokemon used to light the sea around Olivine at night. The lighthouse was made in honor of those Pokemon. My reflection looking good. People train at this lighthouse. It's not easy to climb because of all the trainers. So is this going to be the trainer battles of Olivine's gym in lieu of, maybe? What's this? Oh, that's a hole in the ground. So we can fall to a lower level. I'm guessing because we are in a building, we also cannot ride our bike. I'm going to want to avoid those pitfalls, huh? Hmm, this is no place for playing. As there is a uh, grown man. A gentleman, Alfred, who wants to send out a knocked owl against me. be part psychic, but I guess he is not. Oh, this fight's gonna drag on. Noctal is kinda tanky. Kinda wish I had Ice Beam right about now. As well, hit it with some stab moves in the meantime. Oh, we crit it. That's nice. I wish Noctowl was just a teeny tiny bit more feasible, because I actually like Noctowl. Owls are cool. Ah, I can see that you're serious. Lee got 1,440 for winning, and since I'm home to mom. Up top is a Pokemon that keeps the lighthouse lit, but I hear that it's sick now. Can't be cured by ordinary medicine. That's not good. Oh. Men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. That means you're gonna be using water types, huh? Got two Pokemon with you. And I called it one of them is a water type. He flinched. It's gonna be another water type I'm gonna send out. Chikorita or something.
Sailor Huey was defeated. Earth, I lose. <clears throat> so yeah, this is looking a lot better on the analog pocket versus the, uh... Oops, I forgot to read the dialogue. Oh, I may have missed the dialogue. I was busy just tapping it. I was in a uh, grinding mode mentally just now. I don't think he might have said anything too important. We'll read his after dialogue though. Bird Keeper Deal is about to use Pidgey. Uh, oh, actually, oh, I do have Marip on me. This Mareep is a traded Pokemon. He's got a lot of Pidgeys at level 15. We are so overleveled. This is because I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve of wild Pokemon by about 10 levels. Which means we're gonna have pretty smooth sailing for a while. Bird Keeper Deal was defeated. You really are concerned. Well, you got 360 for winning. Send some home to mom. How the heck do you go up? I want to visit the sick Pokemon, but I can't get up there. Alright, so you're already alluding to uh, some silly shenanigans that are going to happen. Alright, what happens if I fall through here? Might regret it. Well, it's just a quick way back down, I guess, maybe. Do Boo doo doo. Fall into some pit up there on this on the next floor up to get that item, I guess. I travel the world to train my Pokemon. I wish to battle with you. Let's go for it then. Gentleman Preston wants to battle. Gentleman Preston sent out Growlithe. Oh, this is gonna be a type advantage battle for us. Another Growlithe. I could uh, find uh, the dialogue, but I can't find the dialogue. Sigh, I must train some more. Well, you gave us a lot of money. Jasmine used to use rock Pokemon like Onyx. She used to use rock Pokemon? Reflection, looking good. J 
Jasmine is the city's gym leader. I mean to bring her back with me. Nobody had better get in my way. She has last music. Was I correct? Yep. Last Connie wants to battle. And Connie sends out Meryl. We got a Meryl. Oh, why would I use water gun? And on top of that, he's gonna be tanky. It's not dilly dally. Let's go ahead and send out Chikorita. After tonight's stream, I might return back to the uh, Game Boy Player on the GameCube. Even though this looks nice and sharp, uh, using original hardware one and being able to reset the clock without having to uh, back out, it would be kind of useful. Lee got 504 for winning since I'm home to mom. I'm guessing I need to fall through there. I'm gonna check out this hole. Yeah, these on the side seem to be just quick ways back down. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. Krabby! Guess I will swamp back out to Chikorita. I love this music. I like Gen 2 in general. Alright, Totodile grew to level 31. No, we'll stick it through with uh, Chikorita at this point. I might, uh, now the total dial is leveled up, maybe I'll put Chikorita up front. Sailor Kent was defeated. I can't manage a smile either. They got 800 for winning and sent some home to mom. What? Total dial's evolving? Well, uh, believe it or not, Total Dial's not gonna evolve. Not today. Let me see. Okay, I think I'm gonna want to drop down over there after all first. I guess it's just gonna put me back where I want to be. Sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? I too would like to believe that I am uh, kind and strong. Go, Chikorita, and use your razor leaf. This might actually get Chikorita to level up. Sailor Terrell was defeated. You are both kind and strong. We got 800 for winning. Oh, thanks for the compliment. Alright, next up, let's... Let's send the quill. Lee found an ether. Dana last. Oh, and she, I forgot to mention that she also gave me a thunderstone recently. Uh, Lee, it's me. It's Dana. My side dog is so full of energy. It's a little scary. How are you? How are your Pokemon doing? It took only an instant to KO a wild Pidgeotto. 
Must be because you gave me some battling tips last time. See you. I decided to keep her number because she apparently will give us items. So that's kind of nifty. I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it now. So how about you? Okay, we can battle. I mean, I don't think I have much of a choice. We, like, locked eyes. That's another rule. Oh, you got a Machop instead of a Water type. This should be fun. I think Syndical recently learned Flame Wheel while I was leveling it up, so... Slightly stronger fire attack than Ember. Guess that'll do until we get a Flamethrower. Oh, and then they wanted to bring out the Poliwhirl. So, uh, return, Cyndaquil. I choose you, Mareep. Use Thundershock now. Ooh. Yeah, that, that leveled you up. That indeed did level you up. Machop. What are we going to do? Let's go ahead and... Oh, we could have sent out a uh, Cyndaquil, actually. Oops. Okay, we'll send out Ghastly. We'll use Nightshade. Which should do an even 30 damage. Which is about half of Machop's HP. Maybe a little more, so Machop might go down from this. Sailor Ernest was defeated. Whoa, whoa, you're overwhelming. They got 720 for winning and sent some home to mom. What, Mareep's evolving? Nope, nobody's allowed to evolve till they learn the last of their important moves. Lee got us, or Lee found a super repel. Put it in the item pocket. Okay, yeah, this takes me directly to, uh, what's her face? She is taking care of it, or at least I assume that's her. But I don't want to. I don't want to speak to her yet. What? How does one get the item over there? Then I guess I have to cross through the middle of the room. Or we're gonna land here first. Okay, that goes down. Oh hey. We found a rare candy. Oh, we haven't fought this guy yet. Oops. We're pretty high up here. My bird Pokemon are in prime form. Bro, we're inside a lighthouse. What do you mean they're in full form? If you're inside a building, how would they even know that they're, like, high up? Unless you were made aware that you were high up. Keeper's about to use Firo. One day we'll also have a Firo. I wonder how many Pokemon I would stand to get reasonably if I just allowed all my Pokemon to evolve now.
Bird Keeper Dennis was defeated. Oops, they crashed. They got 432 for a win. Like, they're in their prime status or whatever, and, and just them them crashing. Oh, what's TM? What's TM34? Swagger. Alright, so yeah. Do do do. interact with you, I can just walk around, excuse me, a super potion, alright, now I will talk to the sick Pokemon, and then I will talk to Jasmine, because I care more about the Pokemon, Amphi, pa, pa, Lu. it's breathing is terribly labored, why are there so many sick Pokemon, we just helped the, uh, what's it called, uh, Miltank, last stream, and now there's this Pokemon that's sick, this Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? You got it, lady. I will help you out, Jasmine, because I too care about sick Pokemon. Like every time I- I know every time I see a stray cat that's hungry, I want to feed it. I don't even imagine how I'd be in a world full of Pokemon. to try out the uh the battle tower thing over here but you can only have three pokemon with you so i just want to see what it's like real quick before we go question is which three pokemon should i use Probably Kadabra. This is Kadabra now. Definitely a Kadabra. Let's start by uh, moving most of the team out of the party. be able to compete like I could be falsely preparing for something it's your last Pokemon you not intelligent person replace it first right, so I know I would definitely want to use a Kadabra actually star you what do you know you should know Surf, Rapid Spin, and Swift. You know what? We'll we'll leave uh Star You in there for now. Yeah, I should definitely use Flash Cut in there. If only you knew Body Slam, because right now you only know Horn Attack. What do you know? 
Nothing good yet. <laughs> Across, you're kind of beefy. Let's oh, let's use those three and see what happens. Kadabra, Heracross, and Staryu. Three Pokemon may enter battles. All three must be different. The items they also hold must be different. Certain Pokemon may also level restrictions placed on them. City made for Pokemon battles. Countless Pokemon trainers gather from all over to hold battles in specially designed battle rooms. There are many battle rooms in the battle tower. Each room holds seven trainers. Beat them all and win a prize. To interrupt your session, you must save. If not, you won't be able to resume your challenge. Yeah, before we enter the battle, your progress will be saved. There is already a save file, yes. So they do let you pick levels. Please step this way. She has no walking animation? Please let me win, please. Primate, all oh, right. We're off to a great start because our first Pokemon is going to be Kadabra. Critical hit, super effective. Sent out a Houndoom. I actually don't know how well Psybeam's gonna work, but I know Shadow Ball's gonna hurt like heck. Ooh! That's not good. Whoa! We got decimated. Like the worst lineup that could happen a houndoom that knew shadow ball and flame <laughs> oh boy if i survive that crunch which i severely oh my gosh I don't have evolved Pokemon. Well, wow, thank you. You're so nice. Thanks for visiting. I gotta, I gotta try that again. Was that just unlucky, or is that always gonna be the same three Pokemon? Let me give it one more shot. What happens if I pick level 10? Party tops this level. Party Pokemon tops this level. Oh my god, if it's the same lady. Oh no, it's someone different to hear about my cute Pokemon. No, I'm more concerned that I'm gonna get absolutely demolished here. Ooh, what the heck? Teacher Kawakami. I don't think we've run into a teacher trainer yet. Oh my god, you've got a Blissey. Here, I have a Kadabra that doesn't even know Psychic yet. Come on. Oh boy. Makes sense. And you have leftovers. Of course. Yeah, this is not a... This is not a early game uh, situation here.
Oh my god. Even a whiff. I can't, I can't hurt it. It's too tanky. It knows toxic. It knows toxic because why wouldn't it know toxic? Thanks for the raid. You're just in time to see me get wiped. <laughs> you have been thrifty while raided. Dude, I am... <laughs> I'm trying to do run the battle tower here, and I am getting absolutely steamrolled because my Pokemon do not know any of the right moves for this situation yet. It's too early game. <laughs> but I just wanted to see what uh, what I could do for now. Teacher Kawakami, I think is what the trainer's name is. The very first, I have to take like a gauntlet of seven trainers, and the first one's already here. Have a Blissey at level 30 that knows Toxic. <laughs> and it's got leftovers. I don't even have a leftovers yet. I haven't caught a Snorlax yet. That's in late game. I guess they don't play by stadium rule here because uh, I got two Pokemon that are poisoned now. It's just whatever little dent I make, it just keeps recovering. Go back to Kadabra. Maybe Kadabra can do a little bit better. I could just have three Pokemon get poisoned. Uh, Reflex, I'm gonna help you too much because Kadabra's a special attacker. I don't even have Psychic yet. I'm relying on Psybeam. Maybe we can get lucky and confuse it again. Oh, this is not stadium rules at all. She could just toxic everything that comes out. Ooh, and it's gonna keep protecting. It's stalling. This Blissey was built to stall. I'm gonna make a note of that so that when I hop into Stadium 2, maybe, maybe I'll have a Blissey on the team for something annoying like this. <laughs> and it knows Softboiled! <laughs> So it's got leftovers, it's got soft foils, protect, toxic. Does it even fight back? It just tanks. It just poisons and says, alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna chill out now. See at least like the first trainer I faced, uh which I still lost to. But at least I was able to do something. I was able to take out one pole and the game just said, nah nah nah, we're gonna we're gonna remind you that you are not in the place. This is not the time. This is not the place. Oh boy. Now this Blissey is just a straight up wall. All it's gonna do is toxic, protect, and sit there and just look pretty. <laughs> I mean the toxic is gonna be what kills me because the poison increases with each turn. I know if, if you switch out, it becomes a regular poison, but that's not going to make a difference here. The only thing is now they can't uh, poison me again. Aerocross is one of my stronger boys, but the problem is if it doesn't attack, I can't actually do anything. I can't counter. If I could counter it, I could do some heavy damage, but he doesn't know Megahorn yet. <laughs> it's just sitting there. I have to laugh at it because it's such a wild like strategy. I mean it works. Soft boiled. I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with that build when I uh, hop into Stadium 2 once uh, I'm actually able to build up some better Pokemon, get better TMs and stuff. This is Blissey is wild. It is literally just sitting there. Do I even have a Pokemon that- yeah, I had Pokemon that could have poisoned it, but I can only bring three in. So I figured I'll bring a Kadabra. There it goes, all the way back to full. Now it's protecting itself. It's just gonna sit there. I have to wonder, can I, uh, can I basically drag it out long enough that it runs out of, uh, 
power points for each of the moves and it just can't do anything anymore. But I think I'll die. All three of my Pokemon. Ooh, we got a crit! I mean, it's just gonna soft boil right now, but... Come on, Heracos, get another crit! Uh, you tried. Yep, there's the soft boil. That crit was nasty, though. There's an cross. You did, you did what you good, buddy. Oh, you got another crit. Wait, that was not a crit. That's just, that just hurt it. Oh, because it's reflect right now. Yeah, this, this, uh, Lucy has no offensive moves. It knows toxic, it knows reflect, soft boiled, and protect. That's its four moves. Only thing I can do here is I can equally stall because my star you knows uh, recovery. Oh, it was a crit. Joke's on you, surf's a special attack. That reflect's not gonna do anything. I have to wonder if you ran out of protect though. You still got soft boiled though. Oh man. I don't know how many power points soft boiled has. Oh my god, <laughs> right back to full. Oh, you still had protect. I already know Stadium's gonna hit me up at some point with a Blissey just like this. I need a, I need an answer to this. I'm gonna need a Pokemon with a fighting type move. Stadium 2 is gonna be a lot tougher than Stadium 1. But we beat through Stadium 1, so hopefully we'll be able to beat through Stadium 2. Yeah, I'm gonna stall too, Blissey. I wanna see how far uh, down the rabbit hole we can go. I mean, in terms of catching everything, maybe, but <laughs> this battle. Sounds good, go get your food, man. I'm gonna equally stall back. I've had a Starmie with Psychic, Surf. I would definitely want to have Recover. A Rapid Spin. Oh my god. I'm gonna look, I gotta look it up. How many, how many power points does Soft Boiled have? Soft Boiled. I can only use it 10 times. I don't know how many times they've used it, but I feel like they've used it plenty of times. I, I want to see the struggle happen. I, w I want to at least get the Blissey down to have to struggle. I want to tank it right back. Shouldn't have done a recovery yet. I was busy reading about soft boiled here. Let's use rapid spin. That's not gonna do anything. Swift. Oh, it's resorting to using Toxic. I think it's running out of its other moves. I'm already poisoned. You can't poison me again. And it's just working as a normal poison at this point. Yeah, I think it ran out of the, the rest of its moves. But I've got 20 recover as opposed to your soft boiled. Only has 10. Using Reflect. You're gonna go back between that, huh?
I just want to get it down to having to use uh, struggle. I wanted to know that I could tank it right back. That's my goal. It really is running out of uh, stuff because it's using Toxic. I know the AI has to be... Like, if the AI already has this set up for itself, it's gotta know that what it's doing isn't gonna work. But it doesn't have a choice. It's probably trying to conserve its reflect. As much as it can, anyway. It's gonna keep failing. I'm gonna hold off on using any more Surf. I don't wanna actually be able to dent it when it starts struggling. How many Surfs? So we only, we only have five Surfs, so... It's gonna be rapid spinning for a while. It does nothing. It's supposed to get rid of... The, uh, leech seed and spikes and stuff. Meanwhile, there's a poor Ampharos, like, sick in the lighthouse, and they're like, Oh, he's surely gonna bring the medicine, and here I am in a, in a tank war, seeing if I can outlast this Blissey. I'm not gonna win this battle, I just wanna, I just want this Blissey to know that I'm gonna out-tank it. Like. I went back to using Toxic. Oh, it's using Toxic over and over again. I think it's running out of the other stuff. Story is gonna out tank you. I'm I'm so sorry. It's starting to use its soft boil. It has to have run out. It's soft boiling when it has like no reason to at this point. Alright, it's time for me. Yes! We got it to struggle! go down because of the leftovers actually fighting back because it has to struggle. I'm not gonna be able to beat it. Not with that leftovers. It's just gonna get all of its health back. I can't do enough damage. What would really hurt a Blissey right now would be if I had brought in Ghastly. 
Because my Gasoline knows Nightshade. So it would always be able to do something to it. Alright, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to just take the L on this fight. We're gonna be here forever otherwise. It's gonna take its little bit of damage from the struggle, and it's gonna recover it right back, so... This Blissey is invincible to my team right now. There's nothing I can do against it. I'm gonna see if I can run from the battle. It's like... <laughs> can we run? No, there's no running from a trainer battle? Fine. There's no way we can win this. They brought out a Blissey at level 30. I want to build an equally annoying Blissey, like, right back. I want to build a toxic, reflect, soft-boiled Blissey. What do you think about my cuties? I think I got absolutely destroyed by your cuties. We would just be stuck there forever, but inevitably you would have won. Wait, I wouldn't have been able to hit it because Blissey is a... Uh, is a normal type, so Nightshade wouldn't have done anything to it, so I stand corrected. team actually strong enough to do what I needed to do. But that was challenging. Uh, I would look forward to trying to do that. But I have unevolved Pokemon right now. They had like a two-stage Pokemon. A Blissey, no less. That's something I would definitely need to have evolved Pokemon to get the full stats. And they would have to actually have good TM moves. Uh, how many Pokemon do we have in our part? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got the full squad back. Alrighty. I'm going to put Ghastly up front. Alright, let's go. Try to heal that poor little Ampharos instead of wasting our time here. <laughs> well, you can't see it from here, so I'm what is across the sea. Star, you use Surf. You have to warm up before going into the water. That's basic. Uh, well, I'm on a Pokemon. Swimmer Simon wants to battle. I think Cyanwood should also have a gym. We may as well get our next badge while we're down there. Okay, Uncle, I give! We only had 160 Poké Dollars, that's not very much. Uh-oh, I forgot. This is gonna be basically like walking through a big old grassy patch. And 
any trainers up here? Nope. Oh, there's a trainer over here, though. Are you going to Cyanwood? How about a quick battle first? Oh, we locked eyes, so I don't, I don't really have a choice, do I? Swimmer Elaine wants to battle. She sends out a Staryu. I am honestly tired of fighting Staryu, because most of my uh, training over the week in leveling up Pokemon was right there in uh, Olivine City, so I just kept fishing. So if I never see another Krabby or Staryu or Magikarp again, it'll be too soon. Swimmer Elaine was defeated. I lost that one. 420 for winning. No inner tube for me. I'm hanging on to a sea Pokemon. I'm kind of doing the same thing. I'm just riding on the back of a Pokemon though. Like I said, if I never see another Staryu, it'll be too soon, and uh, first thing, we got a trainer that had a Staryu when I said that, and now there's this other trainer that has a Staryu. shelter in this area. So I need to try and catch one. Things are gonna get wild once I start uh, doing Gen 3. It's here I can uh, afford to mess around with a bunch of different Pokemon. But Gen 3 is gonna be super annoying trying to catch just the right Pokemon. Former Paula was defeated. Oh, I'm feeling dizzy. What? Ghastly's evolving? You already know no one's evolving yet. Everyone's gotta learn their basic moves first. Then I'll let them evolve. Do, 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 do. Oh. From all the way across the edge of the screen. Hey, you're young and fit. Don't ride your Pokemon. Swim. Don't tell me how to live my life. Randall. You and your shelter. Go, Ghastly. It was also level 31 at this point, so I'm gonna probably put uh, Chikorita next. Chikorita and Mareep. Since they would have type advantages, they may as well be the ones to level right now. But these shelter know Aurora Beam, and that's scary, so maybe Mareep will be the one that'll level up for a bit. Chikorita will get blasted by Cinder out. Ooh, a War Turtle. We have not seen one of those in a while. At all. I haven't seen one of those since my own War Turtle, I think, in, uh, in Pokemon Yellow. need to get at least 150 Pokemon in gold and silver and crystal if I want to be able to migrate Pokemon from yellow into this game using Stadium 2 because Lord knows I don't want to trade back and forth a million times. That's going to be too insane. I have to catch a bunch of Pidgeys, Rattatas, Sentret, all of the most basic Pokemons. Do, 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 do. Uh oh, I lost. Got 144 for winning. The swimmers never have a lot of money on them. Swimming exercises your entire body. It's healthy, no doubt. We fought you, right? Yeah, we did. This the waves carry me along. It's looking like. We go left from here?
I'm here trying to see where the the trainers are hiding out. Let's uh, put Mareep up front. I'm pretty sure everything we're gonna fight is gonna be a water type out here. Sorry, Syndico, you're not gonna be able to get to level. Alan, why are you calling now? It's me, Alan. I've studied quite a bit since then, and I've gotten a lot better. I'm hanging out on Route 36. Can you come down for a battle? See you later. No, Alan. I'm in the midst of fighting trainers out in the water. I'm gonna be running into a ton of tentacle. Which is gonna be my new star you and uh... Oh, we're in Route 41 at least. When does this become Route 41? Oh, it's because it's split into two paths. Then I should probably check back on that little opening to the right, I guess. I'm gonna guess that's the thing blocking the World Islands. I should have brought some repel for this trip. Mm. The water's warm here. I'm loose and limber. Sure, I'll take you on. Okay, swimmer, you're on. But, uh, you're only gonna give me like a little over. 100, maybe a little less than 200. Look at that, all these shelters. All these shelters with our aura beams. Good thing I'm not sending Chikorita out first. Chikorita will get decimated. Tentacruel. I have run into Tentacruel while surfing out here in the water. But I think that was at night, I'm not sure. But I figured I'd try surfing at the edge of Olivine to see if that would be faster and just using the good rod to level up. Oof, that was a lot of EXP. You're also a traded Pokemon, though. Tentacool. I really have no one else that I could send out for now. Because of that poison typing. Swimmer Charlie was defeated. Yikes, I've got prune skin. Yep, it's always between like a hundred something and two hundred. Not allowed to evolve yet, Mareep. No, you really want to. And I too would like to see you evolve. I'm on my way to the World Islands. I'm going to explore with friends. Kaylee's gonna send out a Goldeen. Maybe I'll put Chikorita up first, and then if they uh, send out something annoying, I'll just do a swap out. Seeking. Chikorita should be able to handle the Seeking.
sorry, Kaylee was defeated. Is that how you do it? Lee got 400 for winning and sent some home to mom. So I'm gonna assume that's all part of the world islands down there. Oh, yeah, see, there's the tentacles that I was talking about. I think if you try to cross over this, it just spits you back out. You look so elegant riding your Pokemon. Maybe I should pull up a map of the, uh, of the route so I can see what the heck to expect. So I know where to find the trainers. Save myself some time. Oh no, Razor Leaf missed! Super effective. Susie was defeated. I'm crushed. Wasn't there a hit song about a boy riding a Lapras? Was there? That's specific Pokemon lore that I don't know about. See those islands that are blocked by whirlpools? There just has to be a secret. I, well, I agree. There probably is a secret. We have not caught a quillfish cool yet. And now Chikorita's level 32. Swimmer Burke. What's the secret to your strength? The secret is in, uh, over-leveling. Across the week between streams. Uh, may as well, just, I guess, put somebody out for now. Can't be Cyndaquil, though. Cyndaquil will get absolutely demolished here. Oh, there's another trainer down there. so beautiful I'm in a daze we should be able to fight off a seal oh I like it's little tail clap Total Dial. You don't have any super effective moves against it, but uh, still be good EXP nonetheless, I hope. It has rest! Because why wouldn't it have rest? It's not gonna do anything, but he's probably gonna. Yep, took the bait. Swimmer Denise was defeated. Oh! A sunburn is the worst for skin, but I don't use sunblock. Sound isn't synced? 
to fix that then. Thanks for the heads up. Alright, let me know if the, uh, the sound is synced now. Wait, wait. Did you say sunblock pollutes the water? Sunburn is worse for the skin, but I don't use some I don't use a sunblock. I won't pollute the water. Better as in it's still off, or better as in it's synced the way it's supposed to be synced again. Also good to see you, uh One Piece. Okay. Oops, I missed what he said. What did he say? Something about the World Islands. Darn you, Matthew, and your Krabby. But I've got not one but two shiny Krabbies, so forget you, Matthew. <laughs> that wasn't towards you. <laughs> I had already spoken about the Krabbies earlier, but you weren't on. I was uh, talking about what uh, has happened since the last stream from the grinding. I swear! If you need to rest, just tread water. You'll get your wind back, so you can keep on going strong. Another star, you. hoping it would fight back. Rage is actually a fairly decent starter move in this game. Oh, a star me. We have not seen one of those yet. Or have we? I feel like maybe we have. Little Doll's Rage is building! Oh my gosh. Carl was defeated. You have more energy than I do. Yeah, but you're swimming. I'm riding a Pokemon. I heard roars from deep inside the islands. Alright, we came from there. We're not getting involved in any additional fights. I'm a bit tired. If I win, lend me your Pokemon. If you're tired, I'm sure that... Well, actually, I'm writing a star you. I don't know that there's enough room for two people on here. If I had a Lapras, maybe. 
Speaking of, I think there's a way to catch Lapras in this game. Please don't poison. Oh my god. I'm in the middle of nowhere in the water. I didn't need to get poisoned. Oh my god, you have six Pokemon. Are you kidding me? I could benefit from this, I guess. Gasoline. He was really good, just gonna have straight up tentacle the entire fight. Oh, I'm out of nightshade. Whoops. I guess I'll just have to use Lick on them the rest of the time. This is going to take a while. Did like 1 HP of damage and it was a crit. Did not expect to see a Remoraid out here. And again, I don't know what to expect out here. Wasn't there a... What's even out here? Oh, we paralyzed him. There's a Mantine that we can catch out here, but it's only a 10% chance of it showing up, and it shows up all of the time. We have to fish for the shelter. We also have to fish for the Chinchow. What? Total Dao's evolving? I don't want Total Dao to evolve, though. Once they all learn their moves, they can evolve. Oh, here comes the annoyance. But 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 every four steps, right? Isn't it relaxing just floating like this? Alright, so you definitely do want to head out this way then. Supposed to be a big Pokemon deep beneath the World Islands. I wonder what it could be. We gotta make it to Cyanwood. Total Dial's poisoned. 
if there be any trainers down here. He is not gonna make it because I have to keep checking everything. Also hoping a Mantine shows up. Hey! There's the Mantine, it's a girl. I'm going to catch it anyway, because for now we'll just get the Pokedex data at least. It's only a 10% chance to... There we go, we got it paralyzed and everything. I don't know if you're gonna last that. Nope. Let's send out Chikorita. You can bubble beam me all you want. Whoa! You broke out already? Don't tell me you're gonna be one of those. You know bubble and bubble beam? Why do you know bubble and bubble beam? Fine, you're paralyzed, you have low health. I'm throwing great balls at you. Thank you. We got the Pokedex data. So worst case, we got Pokedex data. Mantine's data was added to the Pokedex. Swims along freely, eating things that swim into its mouth. Its whole body is very coarse. The Kite Pokemon. It is 6 feet 11 inches tall, and it weighs 485 pounds. And you see the little Remoraid hanging out underneath its wingy. You ignored me, so that makes me feel like maybe I've already fought you. But then again, you also looked away, so I might have just gotten lucky there. It was a dark and stormy night. I saw this giant Pokemon flying from the islands. It was scattering feathers from its silver wings. Silver wings? I, I'm assuming they're talking about Lugia, but I don't recall Lugia having feathers. I really thought that maybe it would trigger a battle, but instead it triggered a wild Pokemon encounter. I'm gonna assume that given the fact that I've not gotten a reaction, that we've already explored this immediate area, so let's get out of here. Another Mantine! This one's also a girl. I'm gonna skip out on it. I hate... I, I say this every single stream, every time I encounter a rare Pokemon and it ends up being a girl. Like, I don't like that they decided to make female Pokemon physically weaker. I mean, for now, it's kind of an issue. I think they address it in Gen 3. I don't think that's the case. Gen 3 going forward. I... Think. Did I fight you? I did not fight you. At night, star you gather near the water surface. You're telling me. Oh, Cyndaquil's up to bat first. This may not be good. Or C. Uh, do your best, Cyndaquil. Water gun. That's gonna hurt. Depending on how much it hurts. Oh, you could take this on for a little bit. Doesn't matter if my attack drops, so I'm using quick attack. But we are gonna switch. So I guess Chikorita.
Swimmer Wendy was defeated. Oh dear. The clusters of star you light up at the same time. It's so beautiful, it's scary. How's it beautiful and scary? So then I haven't fought every trainer down here, it looks like. Maybe as I'm surfing around down here, I'll eventually run into a... into a mailman team. The we fight? Seeker about the world islands pitch black inside. Great, fantastic. They just love doing that. So I'm probably going to need one Pokemon dedicated for Surf Strength and all that stuff and Whirlpool. i got to find a Pokemon that can handle all of that. And then I'm going to need another Pokemon that can handle lighting up the place. Oh, I'm going to assume that that's Cyanwood. It is cyan wood. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. We fish for anything good here? Nope. If you use Fly, you can get back to Olivine instantly. Oh, we can get Fly from here? Cyanwood City, a port surrounded by rough seas. Builders to the north of town can be crushed. They may be hiding something. Pokemon can use Rock Smash to break them. Oh, boulders! I read builders. What is wrong with me? I figured I should have reread that. You came from Olivine? Do you remember the four islands along the way? I heard that a mythical sea creature is hiding in them. I heard that you can only see it if you have a silver wing. It must have the same scent as the creature. I've heard that the whirlpools around the islands are caused by the sea creature. You might need a special move to get past them. Chuck, the gym leader, spars with his fighting Pokemon. Oh, there's a gym here. I figured as much. I, I'm in shock. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? Sure. Pokemon party is full. 500 years of tradition, Side and Wood Pharmacy. We await your medical queries. Your Pokemon appear to be fine. Is something worrying you? The Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. I got it. This ought to do the trick. Lee received Secret Potion. Put it in the key item's pocket. My Secret Potion is a tad too strong. I only offer it in an emergency. You crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. But you can't use fly without this city's gym badge. If you beat the gym leader here, come see me. I'll have a nice gift for you. Oh, well, I guess that's where I get fly from. Like the gym leader? Oh, we already spoke to you. Cyanwood Photo Studio. Take a snapshot as a keepsake. You have magnificent Pokemon with you. How about a photo for a souvenir? Okay, big smile now. Which Pokemon should I photograph? My starter, of course. Alrighty, hold still for a bit. Printer error 2. Check the Game Boy printer manual. I actually have a way to print this, so maybe I'll post it on uh, Twitter later. I'm sorry, X. Oh, no picture? Come again, okay. The Poke Seer ahead. What? I, I, you see that in the corner, right? 
I see all. I know all. Certainly, I know of your Pokemon. I see you met Totodao here, New Bark Town. The, n the time was night. Its level was five. Am I good or what? Incidentally, seems to have grown a little. Totodao seems to be becoming more confident. Let me save. I don't know what that interaction up ahead is gonna have. Yo, Lee! Wasn't that Suicu Suicune? Someone corrected me last stream. Suicune just now. I only caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided. I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, Lee, let's battle now. Hey! My Pokemon are injured! Mystical Man Yusin wants to battle and sends out a drowsy. I haven't. Wait, did I heal them? Oh, apparently I did heal them. Never mind, false alarm, we can battle. My mind's all over the place. Thank you, One Piece Slayer. Electrode. Cyndaquil should be able to handle that and will give a good EXP. Oh, I forget. Electrodes are fast. Oh, it knows. Roll out! Like I said, I should be able to handle it and roll out might be my undoing. The next rollout's gonna hurt a lot if he uses rollout again. Oh, he is definitely using rollout. He is really trying to get Sweet Coon's respect! Hang in there, Cyndaquil. Hey, you got to level 31. Good jobs. I hate to admit it, but you win. They got 2,500 for winning and sent some home to mom. What? Ghastly's evolving. What? Cyndaquil's evolving. You're amazing, Lee. No wonder Pokemon gravitate to you. I get it now. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I'm sure we'll see each other again. See you around. Hi, Lee. How are you? I found a useful item shopping. Stop buying items! Buy dolls and carpets and decorations! It's in your PC. Hope you'll like it. The only reason I'm letting you use my money is because I want you to buy stuff that I would actually want. Let's, uh... Let's send the call up to B first. I'll eventually level up Star You.
do 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 all right I guess we can uh take on the gym Cyanwood City Pokemon Gym leader Chuck is roaring fist do the talking I guess he's a fighting type gym leader Kadabra would be useful here. So would, uh... Pidgey. You know what? Maybe I can give my Pidgey some time to shine. I do want it to become a Pidgeot eventually. We currently do not need, uh... A Staryu for surfing. Especially if we can get a uh, Fly. Oh, not Cyndaquil. Put you in box four. Let's grab that level 30 Pidgey. Sign Wood City Pokemon Gym. My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. Black Belt Yoshi wants to battle. He sent out a Hitmon Lee. Wing attack. Oh man, they're level 27. Oh, that was a crit, though. Oh, he only had one Pokemon, that's why. This isn't real! Is the other guy gonna... Yep, the other guy was gonna challenge me. We martial artists fear nothing. Let me guess, you're gonna use a Hitmonchan. Yep. Black Belt Lao was defeated. That's shocking. And I wasn't even using electric types. Fighting Pokemon are afraid of psychics. Noted. You seem to have a strong bond with your Pokemon too. I just noticed our uh, our buddy here. Wait, didn't I see him at the Pokemon Center? Is he hiding out here? The Pokemon gym trainers here are macho bullies. If I stick around, they might come after me. Here's some advice. The gym leader uses fighting type, so you should confound him with psychic Pokemon. Wipe out his Pokemon before they can use their physical strength. And those boulders in the middle of the gym? If you don't move them correctly, you won't reach the gym leader. If you get stuck, go outside. Wait, am I gonna need strength on top of that too? Don't tell me I'm gonna need strength. I'm gonna need strength. Words are useless. Let your fist do the talking. Black, Black Belt Noth wants to battle. He sent out a Machop. He's got him a choke. Machoke might survive the wing attack. Yep, he did. Oh, that was a crit, wasn't it? Yep. Black Belt Knob was defeated. We got 600 for winning. What? Pidgey's evolving! Ah, uh, let 
me see if I have a Pokemon I can teach strength to. Hopefully a throwaway Pokemon, as mean as that sounds. Let's check box one. Don't I have like an extra Sentret in here? The not shiny one. <laughs> First, I gotta figure out who I'm gonna take out. I think Chikorita can take a break for now. Uh, let's see if we can even learn it. Not able to, so useless. Back into the box you go. Got an extra Jigglypuff. Wait, don't I have. Isn't one of the Jigglypuffs I have like a shiny? Yeah, that one's the shiny, so I want to make sure I use this one. Forgot I had a shiny Jigglypuff. Alright, let's see if Jigglypuff can learn it. Okay, you can learn it. Can you also learn Flash while we're at it? You can learn Flash. Can you learn Cut? <laughs> Not able to. Could you learn Surf? Not able to. I guess I'm asking for too much there. I need to find a Pokemon that can learn all of that stuff. Okay, but Jigglypuff, you are uh, not gonna be the first Pokemon. We're just gonna use you for pushing rocks out of the way. Raging Fist will shatter your Pokemon. My uh, Pokemon aren't made out of glass. Or porcelain, or anything that's capable of shattering. Oh man, a Mankey!
so. Mankey and Primeape. Black Belt Lung was defeated. I got shattered. Well, technically, your Pokemon can't be shattered either. My Pokemon lost. My my pride is shattered. All right, let's heal up before we uh, take on this guy. that building, but okay. Uh, okay, I gotta do this again. I mean, it's not a super difficult puzzle, it's just annoying that I have to move these boulders again. Wahaha! So you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. Arg! Warg! There, scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. I like how my trainers apparently like. I mean, it's cool that you threw a rock, but uh, has absolutely nothing to do with us battling. You only have two Pokemon, huh? That's kind of scary. Primeape! They're level 27. They're not messing around. Primeape fainted, because my Pidgey is awesome. Leader Chuck is about to use Polyrath. Ah! I wanted to switch out to Cyndaquil and give him a chance. But Polyrath would just, you know, duh. Guess I'll stick with Pidgey. Mind Reader. He took aim. Oh, I don't think he'll have a chance to do anything. He'll take all the aim he wants. Leader Chuck was defeated. What? Huh? I lost? How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. Shouldn't it be the Storm Badge? Lee got 3,000 for winning and sent some home to mom. And your Pidgey wants to evolve and you're not gonna let it. Lee received Storm Badge. Storm Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 70 obey you, even traded ones. It also lets your Pokemon use Fly when you're not in battle. Here, take this too. Lee received TM01. That's Dynamic Punch. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. Wahaha. I enjoyed battling you. But a loss is a loss. From now on, I'm going to train 24 hours a day. You know you need rest, right? Otherwise you get weaker. Oh yeah. She said to talk to her once I was done. You crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. That's Cyanwood's gym badge. Then you should take this HM. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You'll be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. My husband lost to you. Oh, that's your husband. So he needs to train harder. That's good, since he was getting a little chubby. Oh my god. So we could teach it to Pidgey. It's usually what I do. And I don't need tackle. I'm definitely not... Well, I don't know if Whirlwind would actually be useful in this game. I know I don't need Tackle, though. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there was someone that wanted me to watch a Pokemon for them, but I think I might have to deposit something in the meantime for it. I guess we'll dump that Jigglypuff in box four as a... Uh, as a Pokemon we can use going forward. Be all the way down here with Flash Cut. Oh, we won, by the way. Lee, you won! I could tell by looking at you. How many badges does that make? We've got five badges, and we're probably gonna get six before this uh, stream is over, actually. Hello, welcome to our Pokemon Center. We can heal your Pokemon to perfect health. Shall we heal your Pokemon? This guy? No. Which house was it? I think it was this guy. Let me save just in case. He received a Pokemon. Didn't tell me what Pokemon it was. Shocky! It's a Shuckle. Want me to look after Shucky? Oh, thank you. Take good care of it, please. Oh, thank you. Take good care of it, please. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put it in the Pokemon box for now. I guess I'll put him in box four with everyone else in the meantime. He's holding a berry. Dude, I don't remember if we ever return it to him. That's a photo studio. I don't have Rock Smash. I even know where you get Rock Smash from. Considering this area starts having smashable rocks, I would assume it'd be around here somewhere. Oh, he sells medicine. Is he the shop, basically, for this island? Nope. Ralph the Fisher. Hi, it's Uncle Ralph. Are you taking good care of your Pokemon? You have to be good to your partners. I just beat a wild hop hip. I told my kid, but he scoffed that the, he could do the same thing easily. Boy, has he gotten cocky. You call your mom sometime soon. Maybe someone in the Pokemon Center? Did you meet the Pokemaniac? He's always bragging about his rare Pokemon. I love showing off the Pokemon that I've raised, don't you? I'm going to get a bunch of battles and show off my Pokemon. Neat. Alright, I don't think there's much else we can use here. Or do, rather. Boulders to the north of town can be crushed. They may be hiding something. Your Pokemon could use Rock Smash to break them. That's true, but I don't have Rock Smash. Let me look that up. Where do you get Rock Smash?
Wait, I might already have it actually, according to this guide. BTMO8. I don't have it yet. You can also buy it in Goldenrod on the fifth floor. Oh, we can fly now, right? So. Oh my gosh, can we. Thank you. Oh, we can fly back home. Let's do that real quick. Home sweet home. Mom, I'm home. Hi, welcome home. You're trying very hard, I see. I've kept your room tidy. Or is this about your money? No. The day is daylight same time is over? No. Just do what you can. It's an adorable NES. That looks more like a Famicom. Look, I got my Charmander doll, guys. Saw that last stream, I think. Staryu doll. Got my little plant over here. I don't have anything else that's cool yet. We could technically surf out there, huh? Are we walking? Let's pull out that story. You. There's plenty of bodies of water now that we can probably explore. Yes, we could kind of explore that way. I know that's end game stuff though. The water body of water over here. We'll save just in case. just did? You're taking your first step into Kanto. Check your Pokegear map and see. What? So if someone had done this early on, they would have found out that Kanto is here. There's a whole other region. Tojo Falls, the link between Kanto and Johto. I guess I can't get over there. Spoilers! It's a tentacruel. Oh. Right as I'm about to get on the land. It's just a rare candy. How much do you want to bet that that cave is going to require flash or something? You know how they could check me and make sure that I don't accidentally go where I'm not supposed to be able to go? It said Tojo Falls, so I wouldn't be surprised if I need a waterfall to go up there. I do remember that's an HM in this game. I assume it's also a dark cave. I was wrong to assume it would be a dark cave. Is there anything to the side over here? An item. A moonstone! That's gonna prove to be useful later.
It's a goldeen. Oh, slowpoke. So since I'm already technically according to that guy, I don't think I could fly anywhere here. Yeah, this just sends me back over to Johto. Alright, so there are a couple bodies of water. Let's check them out. We can also, I guess, fish. I don't think I'm going to find anything good around here, though. A Pokemon I caught had an item. I think it's a Mystic Water. I don't need it, so do you want it? Well, we got Mystic Water. Back to fishing for me, then. What's Mystic Water? Powers up, water type. Oh, I already know who I'm going to give it to. Here you go, total dial. Barely made it out into the water. Get attacked already. Really isn't anything to see out here, huh? Hey, we can also give apricots to Kirk a lot easier now. Guess I'll be doing that daily. Out of my way, Hopip. I'm just here to... Oh, well, that doesn't really go anywhere, does it? Poison Cure Berry. Let's fly back to Violet City. Let's go over to the side, because I know there was some water over here. Bitterberry. <laughs> there is a very lackluster, uh, Experience there. Oh my gosh. That's right. This place is dark. Oh, that's so annoying. At least we can fly now. Let's scope out the stuff around here. And also, for now, since I'm not fishing, let's make that be the case. So I could just get on the bike. Oh. There's water here. What do we have here? Another rare candy. I don't really care too much for rare candies. They do level you up, but aside from that, they don't as far as I know, they don't do anything else. They just literally give you the level up. And I don't necessarily care about just getting a level up, because then I don't get the EV training in. Oh, is there something back here? Oh, this is pretty long. Is there nothing back here? Is this a dead end? I have to check the left, but unfortunately this polywag decided to attack. Oh, 
Okay, so there might be stuff here. A PP up. I I'm not going through that again. I'm not surfing all that. Let's deposit some of that stuff. Not Bill. My PC. The ether can be deposited, so can the super repel, the three rare candies we found, the super potion, the moonstone, the poison cure berry, the bitter berry. Not the quick claw, but the PP up, yes. Let me see if I can throw someone in the box real quick and pull out flash cut and see what we can see in that cave since I uh, kind of want to explore now. Uh, Ghastly might be useful for catching Pokemon, so not Ghastly, not Mareep. I guess Cyndaquil for now. Let's pull out flash cut. Can Flash Cut happen to learn Strength? I don't know if he can or can't. But if he can learn Strength, that'll be pretty useful. Nope. In fact, no one on my team right now can learn Strength. That's kind of bogus. Alright, there was a TM for Rock Smash. On, uh... It's gonna be on the route to the left of Violet City, but for now... Right now I need three Pokemon, or two Pokemon, to do some of the most basic things. I need Rock Smash there. But we can also Surf, so we'll Surf, I guess. To get through some of those areas, I need Rock Smash. And we can't do anything here. Fantastic. Please don't get attacked. Of course I get attacked. Clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. They received TM08. Happens to be Rock Smash. You can shatter rocks with just a single well aimed smack. If any rocks are in your way, just smash them up. You can also now surf, right? So we can go through here.
Guess we can't go through there yet. Patterns appear on the wall. Light. Right? L E I G H T. Like, do you mean like a Pokemon using Flash, maybe? Oh, I guess that did it. I remember the puzzle before it needed us to use items. Ooh. I'm doing a lot of progress in the last two streams. There's a lot to do. We found a gold berry. A moonstone. Moonstones are useful. Energy root. Actually don't know what that's for. Heal powder. The replica of an ancient Pokemon. Can we read this? I actually don't know what that is. T H W S. I know this is shall. That's S H A L L shall. Erect a Pokemon statue. Oh, that's a U. Ch. Wait, is that a U? Outside. What word is that? H. This looks like it's supposed to be a U, because this looks like it's spelling statue. U. C H U S Dus? Dus we? I'm guessing that's a W. Dus we shall erect a Pokemon statue outside. Oh man, I don't even remember which Pokemon I have or haven't caught. We did catch I. J. So I guess anything after J. We don't have a K. I think that's a K. Also level five, so I feel like we're gonna destroy them. This might take it out, I don't know. Ew, that's a super effective move, it's definitely gonna kill it. I need to come in here with like weaker Pokemon. Right now, they are. I'm gonna destroy them. Right. But we didn't actually solve the puzzle, we just kind of threw ourselves down there. Wait, maybe. Don't I have K then? So we didn't solve the puzzle, so there shouldn't be any new ones, right? So. It's. Yeah. Oh man, so I would have wasted my time trying to catch it.
This flying Pokemon attacked its prey with saw-like fangs. I mean, anytime I do a puzzle, I always do the corners first, right? I actually don't know what this is supposed to be, but I will do whatever looks like a corner first. Well, this looks like it goes there. This goes up here. That does not look like it matches there. Maybe it goes here. That doesn't look right. Maybe it's like this after all? I don't know. Oh, wait. I think I kind of see it now. Maybe it's there. And then this looks like it's a bottom portion, too. I think I know what it is. I think it's an Aerodactyl. There? Here? That looks like it goes there. Okay, that's the wing. Yeah, it's an Aerodactyl. 100% it's an Aerodactyl. There's a strange presence here. What if Totodile can rage them? I'm gonna swap out to Totodile real quick. I'm not gonna catch this because we already obviously have this, but... Just to see if... <laughs> if I use Rage, if it's just low enough to start... Nope. I am too strong. Too strong. Let's get out of here. I guess we can come back later. I can try to catch Pokemon on my own. Get healed up and then... I'll take the... The path south. There should be some, uh... Some water routes down there, I think. Oh, I can visit areas a lot easier and pick up these uh, healing items. Look, it's another flash cut. So we can surf here. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything of use here. You see? Yeah, nothing of use. I think the cave down here had water. Can I get to that body of water? I don't think we can get to that body of water. No, because those rocks block us. I should be able to explore this. I remember there was water on the second level, like on the basement.
No time for zoo bats. All right, is there anything here? There is. There's a staircase that goes down. Are you gonna fight me? You are gonna fight me. Who's there? Leave me alone. Leave me and my Pokemon alone. No. Yeah, Pokemaniac Andrew wants to fight and sends out a Marowak. Oh, he's tough. Super tough. I really did not need to take a crit there. Twice. Yeah, it's a good time as any. Go. Star you. Okay, Maniac Andrew was defeated. Go, go away. No, you go away. You're the one that crit one of my Pokemon twice. Just me and my Pokemon. I'm delirious with joy. Can we make it through a body of water without getting attacked? Quagsire? Let's see, evolved form of Wooper. So I don't need you, I'll eventually have one of you. Leave me alone. Oh boy. Star you, this can be your time to shine, I guess. I came all the way here to conduct my Pokemon research. Let me demonstrate my findings in a real battle. What's his name? Calvin. Oh, it's a Kangaskhan. Haven't seen one of those yet. That's the sound effect from Gold and Silver's Game Freak screen, I just realized. You demonstrated on me! That... oh... Uh, okay. I should compile and announce my study findings. I might even become famous like Professor Elm. More bodies of water. Let's check it out, I guess. Oh, there's a girl trainer there. What's over here? An item? An elixir? Training care for a round? Oh, I haven't seen this trainer before. Cool trainer Gwen wants to battle. Sent out an Eevee. Oh, we haven't seen an Eevee yet.
boy. It's going to be one of these. You're going to have every single evolution, aren't you? This one's going to be a Vaporeon, I bet. I like how while I'm using Surf, part of the music disappears. Not enough sound channels. Oh, I meant to switch. Whoops. I may as well switch now. Oh, if I hadn't seen these three evolutions yet, I would have seen them now. Which I don't think would have been possible, because you get Surf from the, uh... From the kimono girls. Oh my gosh, of course it misses anything to drag out this battle. Thank gosh. Star, you grew to level 31. It's trying to learn bubble beam. I don't know, do you have something worth replacing right now? Not really. Old trainer Gwen was defeated. Ah, oh, no, you're too good for me. I'm going to train by myself until I improve. Oh. Very admirable of you. Another Zubat? Another Zubat. If the Pokemon I liked were there, I'd go anywhere. That's what a real trainer does. A lot of water types down here. Oh, you just made your situation so much worse. Whoa, what? And that's with rain? You really need to learn, like, Thunderbolt or something, Mareep. You've been hanging on to Thundershock for a little too long. Full Trainer Emma was defeated. I'd rather pet my babies than this. What, Mareep's evolving? No, it's not. Is there anything here? There's nothing here. There's something out here, maybe? I see an item. Can I avoid you and pick up the item? I like how, as soon as I get right next to him, I still get attacked by a Pokemon. A Hyper Potion. 
I was about to talk to the trainer. Come on now, Zubats. Oh, my mistake. It's a gold bat. There are two kinds of people, those who have style and those who don't. What kind of person are you? Um, I probably don't have a whole lot of style, gonna be honest. We're the same thing all the time, like I'm a cartoon character. Cool trainer Nick wants to battle. He sends out a Charmander. Oh, this is the first Charmander we see. And the poor soul is gonna get surfed. Oh, he's got a Bulbasaur. Fantastic. Oh, you Pidgey. I'm gonna assume his third Pokemon's gonna be a Squirtle. Funny animation for a withdrawal. Unfortunately, raising your defense against a special attack is not gonna do anything for you, Nick. You've got dazzling style. Your Pokemon style is stunning and colorful, I admit. You'll just keep getting better. I'm just trying to look for items, come on. I don't want to fight a Braticate. I did not expect to find that down here. Anything on this rock? Is this here? I'd like to take more than two steps without getting attacked, please and thank you. It's a level 23 Onyx. Okay, was there anything up here? Nope. I guess we're done exploring this lower area. an exit, which I will gladly take so I can get into the next town, heal up, and I think there's one more area to explore down there. Oh, that's right, the Slowpoke well. So many areas to surf in, so many bodies of water. Uh, and then I think the woods had, like, a little island in the middle of an item. But, I need to try to do something real quick so I don't mess up the in-game time. And I can't do it through here, right? The amount of money I had- oh, no, not saving. Now we have...
All right, let me save. out so that I can reset. Oh, that's kind of warm. An log pocket gets kind of warm when you're streaming for a while, huh? I don't know if streaks matter per se when it comes to the little girl in the uh, the Pokemon Stadium 2 mystery gift thing. But there we reset the time. Did it just in time. 11.59. 15 seconds to spare. Back in the analog pocket, which uh, I've been enjoying so far. There's so many different ways to play these games now. Hmm. You see? Yeah, it's still the right dimensions. I thought it might have changed for a second. Oh, I messed up. Oh boy, I messed up. I... Oh, hopefully that's not gonna ruin the streak. I didn't switch it to PM, I left it at AM. Let's see if I still remember the code by memory. Yes, I do. Darn, I was really trying to avoid that. Or like the game thinks it's supposed to be a specific time. It is now Monday, 12 a.m. And let's try to get the clock as accurate to my PC time as possible. I need to give it a few more seconds. Let me know in the chat or in YouTube comments if you made it this far, if you like to sync up your like non-internet connected times with uh like your PC clock cause, or your like phone time because I do that all the time every time the power goes on you have to reset like your microwave and oven and all that stuff I'm I always like whip out my phone and I look at the time I'm like wait for it wait for it and then I confirm it anyone else do that I know I do All right, now it should be nighttime when we boot in. Yep, 12.02, Monday night, 12.02. Might as well check the slow poke wall while we're here. And that body of water had nothing. Oh yeah, we 
we get the nighttime battle music now. Whatever. And then I need Jigglypuff now? Oh my god. I need a Pokemon that can do most of all of this, because this is... These are the kind of moments that I hate, when you have to, like, carry around three... Like, three to four HM slaves. I think that's what they used to call it when I was a kid. Although I'm sure that terminology is probably unpopular now. But it was basically just a Pokemon that you, uh... The, the sole purpose of having it on your team was for that. <laughs> to just use it to get from point A to point B. And I know that it was really egregious in Diamond and Pearl. I want you guys to know, once I get to Diamond and Pearl, I am probably gonna get really upset with the game. Because I'm, it's like, oh, you reached the new path? Well, now you gotta carry around, like, these specific three HMs. And once you reach the next path, you're gonna need these two specific HMs. At least that's my memory of it. It couldn't just be walking around exploring the world. No, you always had to have it. There was a Gen 3 game that... Well, I guess we can move Pidgey out of here for now. There was one... Gen 3. I think for Gen 3, Emerald, Diamond, and Pearl in particular, there was the... Uh... Hold on, let me dump this guy here real quick. There was the bikes. And I found, at first I was like, oh cool, a bike that goes like this and a bike that does that, that's awesome. Oh, I ended up coming back here, whatever. But then I was like, oh, you reached this path and you need the acrobat bike. And then there was like the mock bike and there were certain areas that you couldn't explore unless you had that bike. So you might be making your way through a path for the first time. And you're like, well, I gotta go back. And I gotta get this bike. And then... I don't know, it wouldn't surprise me if once you did that and you made it a little bit further. It's like, oh, now you need strength. And cut. And surf. And flash. The only one you're not gonna need because it's the most utilitarian of them all is uh, fly. Fly is infinitely more useful. It's not even the best flying move, but at least it's okay. At least with this, we'll be done exploring this section, I guess, right? I think there's nothing else in this uh, area that I would want to explore. Does this go anywhere? Oh, it does go somewhere. Oh my gosh. What do you know, a visitor? What do you know? I really did not expect to run into more people. I guess I should have. Hiker Leonard sent out Geodude. Ghost, are you? Machop. Sure would have been nice to have literally any of the normal Pokemon on my team, but because I need to carry around the Staryu right now for Surf, and another Pokemon for Strength, and another Pokemon for Flash and Cut, I just want one Pokemon that can do it all. Wahaha, ha, you're a feisty one. I think in future games, HMs, like, fell off, which I think is great. Because I really don't like HMs. I mean, in the first few games, you know, it's like, it was okay, cool, but they didn't really ever abuse of it. Like, oh, this path, you're going to need one HM. This path, you're going to need one HM. If that... But then they got really silly with it, 
And when you need like at least two or three, like I think I made it to Seafoam Islands and I was like, okay, cool, I surfed. Oh wait, what? There's light. Where does this lead out to? This is gonna take me outside, but where is it gonna take me? And of course, as I'm excited to check it, I get attacked by a Zubat before I can step out of the cave. Ruins of Alf. Another part of the Ruins of Alf? We'll come back to this. Never mind, geographically, that made zero sense. The ruins of Alf are so far to the north, and I've barely gone north. I went south into this cave, and then I went slightly back north. We did not cover that much ground. Iker Phillip. Iker Philip was defeated. Erg. I've been lost for a long time. I don't mind it here, but I am so hungry. Wait, this leads out to somewhere else too? What does this lead out to? The ruins of Alf? Oh my god, this is a strange place. I did not expect to have to fight you. Psychic Nathan. Your giraffe for rig? We haven't seen a giraffe for rig yet, I think. Girafferig spelled backwards is Girafferig. Psychic Nathan was defeated. I like thinking here. Well, you're a psychic. I would imagine you like thinking. So is this gonna be up? Gonna be a puzzle. Is there anything in this grassy area here? I'm already here, right? May as well check it. Oh! It's a Natu! Of course you know Nightshade. Uh... Potentially the most annoying attack for you to know right now. I'm gonna capture you though. Marie, I choose you!
Not two was caught. Data was added to the Pokedex. Extremely good at climbing tree trunks and likes to eat the new sprouts on trees. Give a nickname to Natu? Nope. Quagsires are here too. Are these the ruins of Alf? I feel like... Let's step in and out and see. Yeah, it's the ruins of Alf. We got another puzzle here and another thing back here. Patterns appeared on the walls. Ho... 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 What about... Ho... Ho... I don't... I don't know. I guess... I have something related to Ho-Oh, -Ho, I don't know. A Pokemon that flew gracefully rainbow-colored wings. Oh wait, is this gonna be Ho-Oh? -Ho? Do we have to design Ho-Oh? -Ho? I guess you already see here... Corner pieces. Any puzzle should always start with corner pieces. I'm gonna assume that that's there for now. Maybe. Maybe. That looks like it might be the face. That. I have no idea what I'm building right now. Oh, that looks like it goes there. I feel like those might be reversed if anything. I think it's coming together now. Is that it? Maybe it's this? I don't know. That's not it. I feel like the problem is these four here. I feel like everything else is fine. These are supposed to be the bottom pieces. Oh, you know what? Maybe they are. No. 
hate that you can't place a piece down and then just have its hot swap, basically. Unless that's correct, and I have these backwards. It can't be that because these look like they connect. I'm fairly certain this part that I'm highlighting back and forth is correct. so I can see something real quick. because of this okay I figured it out <laughs> oh my god now I don't have Pidgey to fly with Do you see? Do you see why this is so annoying? This is why I hate HMs. Because then I have to get Pidgey, put it back on the team, go back down, take Pidgey out, put another Pokemon in. Oh my goodness. I think this route, I won't we'll have to deal with Pokemon, right? May as well heal up. You're out late. Yeah, we're exploring, Nurse Joy. We're seeing what the world has to offer us, because we actually have uh, the means of expert. Joey, not now, Joey! I don't want to battle you right now, Joey. I finally have the means to get to you. But right now, we are exploring. I have, I have a mindset. I have a train of thought. I want to follow through with it, Joey. through that path there, I think. Oh man, why couldn't I just surf from there? It was a good run. We, we hadn't been attacked up until now once we entered the cave.
Patterns appear on the wall. Water. Water? What do you mean, water? I, I guess I need something that has to do with water. What's this? This Pokemon drifted in the sea by twisting its ten tentacles. So the tentacruel? Why does this one feel like it has way more pieces? Okay, this looks like it might might be a corner piece. This is a hot mess, I don't know what I'm doing. Or maybe... This is an Attentacruel. None of that, none of that looks like a tentacruel. here. Kinda looks like an Ammonite. Okay.
Is that it? Doesn't make sense. I feel like this made more sense up here. like it should be something like this but something's obviously wrong sense. Goodness, we didn't get attacked. Right, so we're gonna have to come back to those two areas, I guess, at some point. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm gonna go back to Violet City up north, and I'm swapping out. Taking out flash cut. No, I need flash cut. I'm about to go into the cave in a little bit. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to lose another useful Pokemon. That that's what it comes down to. I guess I'm gonna have to sit total. I'm gonna have to bench total now. How ridiculous is this? 
just for the convenience of navigating the map. Look, look at this. I have to have three Pokemon. He knows Flash and Cut. No strength, and it can only learn strength. And I got Staryu up here with Surf. And then just for the sake of being able to get to places faster, I need the Pidgey. Or a Pokemon that can fly. Let's start off by searching the left. Are you gonna to make my life miserable? I'm waiting to see Slowpoke's moment of evolution. Through observation, I made a new discovery. A Slowpoke with a King's Rock often gets bitten by a shelter. Here, I'll share a King's Rock with you. Lee received the King's Rock. Lee put King's Rock in the item pocket. I'm going to be like Slowpoke. I'll wait patiently so I can see one evolve. All right, so we have a King's Rock. What's this? Lee found TM-18. Okay, what's... I'll bite. What's TM-18? Rain Dance. Can I fish there? At this point, it's more of a curiosity thing. I can fish, even though I'm one level up higher than it. Surfing around down here in the water, I can encounter a slow bro. But we already have a slow poke. Uh, two slow pokes, actually. Have a slowpoke, decently leveled slowpoke, too. I'm gonna push this back out of the way. So close. to Dialex Forest. V 
Then a net. Don't care for you. What I do care about is trying to make it to that little lake. there'd be something here. Really? You couldn't let me reach the door. Darn you, Oddish. Why? Why couldn't you just let me get to the door, Oddish? Why are you wasting my time? What did I ever do to you? Oh, right. There's some bodies of water here, too. Nugget and make money off of that. Your Rattata's looking sharper, Joey. Your Rattata will one day be in the top percentage of Rattata. One, two, three. Mystery gift. With just a little beep, you get a gift. Yeah, we can't move anything here. Yeah, they're like, oh, anything you find, you can keep. Oh. Ultra Ball. This time I was actually able to get something. I don't know how this works down here. Interesting. Really? This just kind of goes nowhere? Pokemon Center we get to, I gotta deposit a bunch of berries and stuff.
So now, unless you are a shiny, I'm not capturing you, knocked out. Telling you, it is the most annoying thing. Item management early on in these games. I cannot wait for the backpack not to get full anymore. This is ridiculous. I always end up because I'm so impatient, I keep picking Bill's PC. The gold berry, the moonstone. The energy root, the heal powder, the paralyzed cure berry, the elixir, the hyper potion, the king's rock, the nugget, the mystery berry, the ice berry, the black apricorn, the red apricorn. Jeez. It looks like the bird Pokemon symbol. It's, it's sitting on my head when I do that. someone there that wasn't there before, so I am saving before I talk to them. In the distant past, this tower burned in a fire. Three nameless Pokémon perished in it. A rainbow-colored Pokémon descended from the sky and resurrected them. It's a legend that has been passed down by Ecrotique gym leaders. Me? I was a trainer way back when. Ho ho ho. Or maybe he was there and I just don't remember him, I don't know. Alright, we had explored a little bit over here. Should be able to maybe surf some of this. In gold and silver, by the way, this is a cave that needs to be lit up with flash and it's annoying. Guess we never climbed up here beforehand. It's amazing how long it feels getting into a, a wild Pokemon encounter battle. Especially when you're in a hurry. I couldn't even talk to the rock to move it because I got attacked the second I faced it. Let me move the rock. Alright, what's up here? I already saw a person, which means it's probably a trainer. It's 
We'll start by trying to get over there. I definitely want to use Repel, but I also don't want to use Repel. Because what if it's a shiny encounter? Or what if there's a Pokemon that I didn't catch before? I found a Hyper Potion. I can't take like four or five steps without being attacked! It's just Rattata's! If it wasn't for the fact that, like, I don't want to waste my, like, power points fighting needless battles, because they're, one, they're not going to give me good EXP, I hear. Because these are just level 13. Like, if I wanted to level, I could go back to Olivine City and fish again for the Krabbies. And I don't need to catch Geodude, or Rattata, or Zubat, or Meryl. What's up here? An item. An Ultra Ball. There's a person standing there. Okay. Yikes, come on. Like, I see the item and then I'll get, like, attacked two or three times before I could ever get close to it. Another nugget. I guess we can't go any further than that up there. I almost kind of wish instead of doing that, like all this extra animation, like it just jumps straight to the battle. That's one thing that's probably hasn't aged well with just most Pokemon games and RPGs. Like. It gets to a point where you just want to get it over with. I I can't make it to this guy. I keep getting attacked by wild Pokemon. It's not an angry Geodude shaking their fist at me. It's like an overexcited Meryl. Hey, you! Super nerd Marcus wants to battle. He sends out a slowpoke. And of course, it would be a water type Pokemon, as I have a water type Pokemon as my lead. Not very effective, but it was effective enough to take you out. Super Nerd Marcus was defeated. I mistook you for someone else. I came to explore Mount Mortar, but I got separated from my partner. Did you run into a trainer who uses a Seedra that knows Waterfall? I have not. like, oh look, another item, let me go get it. No, Zubat. Zubat wants to flap its wings at me. An escape rope? Oh my god. I can't even change screens.
please! It's like the game knows. It's like, oh, that exit? Are you trying to make it to that exit? Just trying to make it to that item over there? Well, uh, no, you're gonna have to face your third Rattata in a row. A while back, this karate dude wanted to battle. He was ridiculously good. He just thrashed us silly. He went in deeper saying it was for his training. I wonder how he is. I can't make it to the stairs! If there is a point of interest anywhere on my screen in the game detects that I move even one one step close to it, it's like, oh ho, you're trying to watch. Oh, you're trying to make it to the exit? Nope! Can't make it to the exit! We gotta give you at least one encounter before you walk out. Take this happy-go-lucky Meryl. I'm just here like, I don't, I don't, I don't care for the happy-go-lucky Meryl. I want it to leave me alone. Oh my god, it actually let me escape. Found a super potion. I never picked up the super potion there? Are you kidding me? Wait. This is something else altogether. Wait, what's down here then? It's Suiquin! It's Suiquin! Suicun again! I keep running into Suicune at like the most random spots. A pink Capricorn. Haven't run into those yet. A green Capricorn. A yellow Capricorn. No more zoo bats. No more zoo bats. No more ratatas. No more pappy go lucky merrills. Please. You're breaking my spirit. On the full restore, at least. can't escape the happy-go-lucky Merrells. Why? Why, Meryl? Why must you make me suffer with your cute little adorable smiles? Another hyper potion. Day 45. I've been lost in this cave. Every time I take three steps, a wild Pokemon pops up. We'll never be able to escape. Where does this even go? Okay, so that's to come back out this way. There was something up there. And also I could step over here. There are items all over the place here. Oh, found the carbos. Please. Just let me escape. I still have to go back to Olivine City.
What? What a cruel joke. We can escape going down south. Hello, happy-go-lucky Meryl. I'm gonna hold to that theory. See, as soon as I saw the staircase and I landed on the on the ground, it was like, nope. Oh, wait a minute. I can technically surf this, right? I, did I explore this? Oops, can't ride my bike inside the Pokemon Center. What am I trying to do? You gave me a Thunderstone last time, I can't complain. Oh my god, I goofed. Nope, can't ride your bike in here. I called it earlier, the beginning of the stream. Breathing terribly labored. Will that medicine cure Amphi? No! I see. Amphi, hang on. Oh! That was so sad! Yes, it'll cure it. Lee handed the secret potion to Jasmine. Um, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. Amphi, how are you feeling? Palu, Palulu. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very much. I will return to the gym. Palu, Palulu.
May as well get a second gym in. Olivine City Pokemon Gym, Leader Jasmine, the steel-clad defense girl. Sounds like this is going to be Cyndaquil's time to shine. Oops. Like, what am I doing? We gotta move, uh, star you out. I think once we defeat Jasmine at the Olivine City Gym, I think that'll be it for the night. Two gym leaders in one stream. Jasmine uses newly discovered steel type. I don't know very much about it. Olivine City Pokemon Gym. Does she not have any trainers? And who's a steel type? I know Magnemite's a steel type now. Steelix is a steel type. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? Leader Jasmine wants to battle. Leader Jasmine send out Magnemite! Go Cyndaquil! Flame Wheel! She's bringing out Steelix early on. Wow, her Pokemon are stronger than mine for once. Ooh. That's gonna hurt. Oh man, we got lucky, that was a crit. She pulled out the Steelix real fast. That should be enough for Cyndaquil to catch up with the rest of the crew. 56, 48, 60, 54, 64. Leader Jasmine was defeated. You are you are a better trainer than me. In both skill and kindness. In accordance with League rules, I confer upon you this badge. Lee got 
2,500 for winning. Since I'm home to mom. What? Cyndaquil's evolving? No, it's not. Lee received Mineral Badge. Mineral Badge raises Pokemon defense. Um, please take this too. Lee received TM23. You could use that TM to teach Iron Tail. Ooh. Um, I don't know how to say this, but good luck. Uh, thank you. All right. That leaves two more poke two more Pokemon, two more gym badges to get. We're making we're making a lot faster progress, I feel like, than we did uh, in my uh, Pokemon Yellow run through. That was awesome, the Steel type, huh? That was a close encounter of an unknown kind. Nice reference. We we did pretty well. We caught a lot of Pokemon along the way. I don't think there was much else that we could catch. What we can do is fly out to Mahogany Town. I know that we can't enter the gym yet. We did some exploring. We did, uh... Some Pokemon catching. Caught lots of trainers. Did uh, Ruins of Alf puzzles. I, I'd say we we're progressing pretty well, honestly. But I think that's going to be it for tonight, at least for me. That was quite the ride. So I want to thank everyone who stopped by to uh, watch the stream. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Thrift, for the... Uh... Man, my brain's all over the place right now. Hold on. Thank you, Thrift, for uh, coming on in and raiding with 27 people earlier. And those of you that stuck around, thank you so much. Big shout out to uh, my mod, official One Piece Slayer. Glad that he is here both to advise and to uh, clean up the chat whenever uh, randos come in with like their own advertisements and stuff. I'm a small streamer, you don't need to advertise here. Uh, and yeah, I think, uh, I think that's pretty much it for tonight. Two gym badges. We uh, went all over the place. We're up to 70 Pokemon. Uh, fighting Jasmine was a little bit tougher than I anticipated. Not difficult by any means, but I did not expect a level 35. I thought it was going to be closer to my level, but it is what it is. We have the team and the coverage to do it. Oh, we messed around with the front, like the battle tower, but I uh, absolutely got decimated there. <sighs> So we shall see, we shall see. So once again, I want to thank everyone that uh, came on by to watch. Really, truly appreciate it. So I guess it's, uh, it's time to put in the plugs, right? So if you want to know when I'm going to stream, go ahead and give me a follow over at twitter.com or x.com, I guess now, slash Lee Mustang. Uh, anytime I'm about to stream, I'll try to post on there just as an extra little reminder. You can go ahead and follow me over at Instagram.com slash Lee.Mustang if you want to see what I'm adding to my game collection over time. And of course, if you want to catch all the prior uh, archives of this stream and of Pokemon Yellow and Stadium and any of the other games I've done and reviews and the list goes on and on and on, you can go ahead and give me a follow over at YouTube.com slash Mustang where you'll eventually see this uploaded later today. Maybe by around 3 or 4 should be uploaded onto the YouTube. Uh, and yeah, if you happen to be watching this over at youtube.com slash Lee Mustang, please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Click the little bell icon to be in the know. And of course, I'll see you next time where we will probably be headed into mahogany town and catching the shiny gyarados and lord knows what other antics we're gonna get up into so once again thank you guys for watching 
Take care, and I'll see you next stream. Later.